everyone welcome back to my channel this is the first set of video that I'll be doing about Jamaican contributors now Jamaica has a lot of contributors we are famous for a lot of things we're famous for beaches music I was about to say Spanish <laughs> we're famous for sports the beaches and have I said beaches before? But you know, we are famous for a lot of things. The dialect, the Jamaican food, the dance, and the, the weed. You know, but majority of the contributions were made in the arts and culture. So music and dance and drama and all of these things. The culture itself, music culture. And therefore, I'll be focusing on that first. But I'll be doing it in two parts because we have so many contributors to that category in particular. So I'm going to do the main categories where I'll be focusing on arts and I'll be focusing on education, science and sports, travel industry and all of these things. So let's get started. First one on the list will have to be, the first one is Miss Lou. Louise Bennett Coverley. Louise Simone Bennett Coverley, known to many Jamaicans as Miss Lou, was born in Kingston, Jamaica, September 7, 1990. Miss Lou is a Jamaican poet and folklorist, writer and communicator. She is known for her writing and performing her poems in Jamaican patois. From 1970 to 1982, Miss Lou hosted the then popular children television program called Ring Ding. Based on the belief that the picnic them learned the sinting that belonged to them, which simply means children learn about their culture. Thanks to Louise Bennett, among others, the Jamaican patois has become more acceptable to the Jamaican people. Miss Lou sadly passed at the age of 86 in July 26, 2006. If you are a Jamaican and have no idea who Miss Lou is, I'm going to tell you this point blank. You need to change your nationality. Everyone knows and loves Miss Lou. Rest in peace, Miss Lou. Walk good, Miss Lou, and make good doppy follow you. The second one on the list is Shaggy. Second on our list is Shaggy. Orville Richard Burrell was born in Kingston, Jamaica, October 22, 1968. He is one of the many popular Jamaican international reggae slash dancehall artists. Known by his stage name Shaggy, was nicknamed after Shaggy from the popular cartoon Scooby-Doo. Do you remember hit songs like O Carolina, Mr. Bombastic? How about this one? It was me. Or, how about this one? Girl, you're my angel. These are probably all songs we are familiar with. Apart from being a musical genius, Shaggy hosts a charity concert every year called Shaggy and Friends, where all the proceeds go to help the Bustamante Children Hospital in Kingston, Jamaica. Bustamante Hospital is the only pediatric hospital in the English-speaking Caribbean. Thank you, Shaggy, for your contribution to the Jamaican people. The third contributor on my list is Ralston Milton Nettleford. Ralston Nettleford is a Jamaican choreographer, road scholar, dancer, singer, teacher, critique, mentor, and the list goes on. He is from Falmouth, Trelawney and was born on February 3rd, 1933. In 1962, 
Nettle Ford co-founded the National Dance Theatre Company of Jamaica, NDTC. NDTC has performed in countries all over the world and is still in operation. Nettle Ford was the artistic director of the University Singers at the University of West Indies Mona campus. He received the Gold Musgrave Medal in 1981 and got 13 honorary doctorates, including one in civil law from Oxford University. He also received the Order of Distinction from the Jamaica State. He is truly a Jamaican cultural ambassador. He sadly passed away one day before his birthday, February 2nd, 2010. He will forever be remembered. Number four on the list is Lee Scratch Perry. Lee's birth name is Renford Hugh Perry. He is also known as Peacock Jackson or The Upsetter. He is a singer, songwriter and producer. Born in Kendall in the parish of Hanover to parents Davis and Henry Perry. Big up Hanover. He has been in the music business since the 1950s and have worked with numerous artists. He has produced songs for many artists, some of which include Junior Biles, The Congos, The Whalers, and the legendary Bob Marley. This man is still producing music and is touring somewhere in Europe. I met him last year, January. He is quite an interesting soul. Big up yourself, Lee. The final Jamaican contributor is none other than Jimmy Cliff. Jimmy Cliff, known to many, or birth name James Chambers, is a Jamaican ska and reggae artist, musician, singer, and actor. Along with Bonnie Whaler, he is one of the only two living musicians to hold the Order of Merit the highest honor that can be granted by the Jamaican government for achievement in the arts and sciences. He is known for song covers like I can see clearly now the rain is gone and is popular for songs like you can get it if you really want. He's also popular for the harder they come the harder they fall on and all. He also starred in the film, The Harder They Come. Jimmy Cliff is also one that will be remembered forever. That's the first five of the Jamaican contributors we have in the arts and culture. Next week, Monday, I'll be focusing on another five contributors who did something great for our great country. So see you on Monday, where I'll be talking about the next five or the other five that did something for the Jamaican culture. And I'm going to specifically speak about education.